April Rose here having a drink with the director of the movie, Paul, Greg Matola. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. So is this movie, Paul, like a classic Hollywood movie? In my mind, it starts kind of as an indie road movie uh -huh. and slowly turns into a classic Hollywood movie. Came out of the sky, Going on a road trip, huh? Yeah. On a tour of America's most famous UFO hotspots. I hear that. I cannot believe we're going to see Area 51. What do you think the biggest challenges were to work on this movie? To try and get a good performance out of pixels yeah. was really scary yeah. because, um, you know, CG characters usually are monsters that jump out of the dark and rip your head off. Yeah. Or, you know, they're characters in movies, but they're usually supporting, uh, like, you know, some little elf or something. But here, in a, in a live action movie, so he has to look real. He can't look like a cartoon. Um, that was hard, and those guys were really, you know, making it harder because they gave him, like, the funniest lines and made him a complicated right. character, so right. the acting had to, right. it couldn't suck. I'm Paul. <laughs> what have you done to him? He fainted. Yeah, but you made him faint. But it's not like I set my phaser to faint. You got a phaser? What was it like working with Simon? I just don't understand what he's saying. <laughs> he's speaking. And Nick as well. He's speaking English, and it sounds like that sketch that Bill Hader just did on SNL, right. where he's like in an English movie and it's all <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> I felt intimidated because they've worked with one director pretty exclusively mm -hmm. on the stuff they've written, mm -hmm. who's Edgar Wright, who yeah. did Scott Pilgrim, and I think Edgar is an amazing director, and I would never try to emulate his style because no one does what he does. They make you feel like family when you're working with them, yeah. which is odd for British people because British people don't like emotion. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean that. Why are we holding hands? So we look like a family, just a couple of regular guys walking down the street with a small cowboy. Why should people go see this movie, Paul? Because I actually think we made a CG character that's funny in a live action movie, which I think there hasn't been a lot of. Yeah. I actually think he's as good as a character you might see in a Judd Apatow movie. He's yeah. actually the most grounded, well-rounded character in the film is our little tiny, giant, bulbous-headed alien. <laughs> also because it's time everyone knows that the next stage of evolution is to be bald. So, I like what you're doing So yeah. I think I'm trying to introduce that concept. <laughs> Let's lighten the mood, shall we? Clive, when did you last get laid? <laughs> I'm really proud of the movie. It's got some real feeling to it. There's a good I, story behind it. Yeah, it's a good yeah. yarn. It's like a throwback to those 80s movies like Goonies or something cool. or, or Gremlins where it's like a fun story. Very cool. So. Very cool. Well, thanks. I'll be sure to see thanks. that movie. Thanks. I am wasted. <laughs>